Okay, the okay. name of the company is? Positive Identity Design. All right. And uh, how long have you been a company and who is in your company? Can you tell me a little bit about it? What do you do? Who do you service? Etc. cetera. Uh, we've been in business for a little over a year. Um, I've been working a lot with uh, my partner, Dave Jenkins. Okay. And uh, we cater um, a lot to the uh, housing market, okay. which obviously is under a great deal of stress right now, but there is still a lot of people uh, in that market that are looking to uh, revitalize their image and uh, other people that are also looking to take advantage of the market. And so I'm designing, I'm doing a lot of logo redesigns and website redesigns. Uh, people are looking to have greater impact in the current market. So um, I'm working with them to uh, revitalize their branding. Okay. Um, what's your background? Have you always been in real estate or are you... Um no, my background is really, um, I've worked in advertising agencies large and small, uh, all across South Florida. And uh, I've done everything from working with uh, like plastic surgeons to uh, pet stores. Uh, I mean, anything you can think of. I did a lot of corporate identity. Mm -hmm. um, and I really find, I found that the housing market was uh, a lot more rewarding in many ways because it was um, everybody's dream to own a home. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a great deal of satisfaction in promoting a product that, you know, is so desirable to everyone. Okay. Um, do you have any current projects going on right now that you'd like to tell me about? Um, I'm working with a developer in the middle of the state. Okay. Um, they're building uh, net zero homes, energy efficient homes. Okay. I redesigned their logo because they weren't happy with it. And, and what's their name? That's Tommy Williams Homes. Okay. Right. And um, so from there, uh, I've incorporated that logo design into a, a stationary package, and I'm working on a marketing piece, a pocket folder, so that they can have their realtors and brokers uh, put together all the information and take it out to the market. Okay, and um, what when you get a new client, um, how do you proceed? Um, do you take the existing logo and build on it, or do you start from scratch, or is it a combination of both? Or it really depends on what the client wants. Okay. Uh, sometimes they'll they'll find that in their specific market that there's a lot of competition that looks too similar to what they have, mm -hmm. so they want more of a uh, separation, okay. something that sets them apart, um, or they just want to look more sophisticated. Okay. Uh, maybe they started out 10, 20 years ago and they've had the same logo the whole time and they've decided that it needs a fresh new look. Okay. So that's a lot of what I do. Um, what do you, where do you draw your creativity from? Where are you, um, do you feel like this is just straight out of your head or is it a process of listening and um, you develop ideas as you're listening to the customer? Or Yeah, well I have an a artistic background. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to the Minneapolis College of Art and Design okay. and I uh, specialized in both commercial art and fine art. Okay. So I have a background in both. Uh, I've done painting and a lot of drawing when I was much younger. So I have the ability to uh, do a lot of visualizing in my head. Okay. But um, what I try to do is basically two things. I keep on top of what the trends are in the market. Okay. Um, mostly just by going through a lot of magazines, uh, exploring the bookstores, mm -hmm. uh, looking at the ads on TV and seeing um, uh, there's a lot of trade publications that show what the trends are that are coming up. And then the second thing I do, it's really important to me to sit down with the client. I can't always do it face to face, mm -hmm. but I try to have them uh, tell me what's most important to them and give me examples of things that they like. Okay. And then with that feedback, um, I'll present to them uh, comps okay. of a design and uh, then from there we refine it. And sometimes we can go back and forth two, three, maybe even four times. It depends on how particular they are. 
Okay. Um, how do you see, um, y how are you set apart from the average designer, do you think? Um, what is the difference between, I don't know, uh, a designer I might just pick out of the yellow pages as opposed to what you do, or uh, what sets you apart? Well, I think um, my, my biggest asset, of course, is that I do have a creative background. Okay. I am artistic, mm -hmm. and I think in that creative mind. Okay. Um, uh, I'm also, uh, I have such, uh, I mean, I've been doing this for like 20 years, so um, I'm knowledgeable about some of the old processes mm -hmm. in printing, okay. which really helps in how you design a piece. Oh, yeah, uh, a lot I of imagine. people don't realize that or that are learning how to design with computer and technology today. They think, you know, that that it's just this one way but then when they go to output their design, like if you rip it through a, a processor for a, a certain type of printing machine, um, a lot of problems can happen if you don't understand what the principles are behind the printing process. Yeah, I would imagine. So um, it, it's a big benefit for me because it, it helps me to streamline my process so mm -hmm. that there aren't any technical issues and it gets the job done faster, it gets it done right the first time, okay. and I tend to think that that helps save money in the long run. All right. Um, it, where can I see your work at? Where, where would I look to see Diane's whack? <laughs> well, I have a website. Okay. It's positiveidentitydesign.com. Mm -hmm. I have my portfolio on there. Okay. And I try to display a pretty good sampling of uh, Advertising, you know, with ads, for, um, folders, um, I've done my websites, and uh, some of the books that I've done for different people. It's all up there. 